Hey guys, today we're going to go over using SOPUS to demo 6 Inspector uh, Vision Camera System. Uh, there's an emulator located inside SOPUS that you can use to demo the uh, software without actually having hardware available. So with the assumption that you already have SOPUS installed, let's go ahead and open SOPUS. Uh, sometimes this can take a moment depending on how many device drivers you already have installed in the software. Once open, you can click Device Catalog. You can see I already have quite a few of the devices downloaded, but if you didn't, click this gear icon, install, next, from mysick.com, next, and in here you could just type in PIM, P-I-M, 60, that position inspection measurement, <clears throat> and it will pull it up for you, um, which I've already done that. Once you install the device driver for the inspector, it will automatically give you the emulator. <clears throat> We're going to select the inspector PIM60 version 2. It's the latest version emulator. So let's go ahead and open that up by double clicking it. You can see now it's popped up the emulator here. What we want to do is double click the image. <clears throat> It's now simulating like it's going out to the hardware and it's looking at a camera in real time. <clears throat> you can see we have a moving object here. Um, let's go ahead and pause this object down here. <clears throat> if we don't like the orientation, we can slide through. You can see and get to a place where we like the orientation of the object that we want to view so that we could start playing with the tools. First thing we want to do is come down here and to teach this reference object. So let's do that. And we want to first give the object locator tool a go. And you can see here it's mapped out. <laughs> Excuse me, yeah, uh, so it, it's mapped out this area of the object that's going to be our reference point on the image. Over here, you can see that it's starting to uh, populate that in the tools. Okay, that, that's kind of a critical thing. Um, if we come in here into Edge Tool and we want to look at the edge of a part of the image here, all we have to do is drag the box over it, and you can see it gives us our edge. We could do another edge on the other side. Okay. And now that we have two edges created here, what we can do is go ahead and select our distance tool. And if we wanted to do some measurement, we could select from edge one to edge two. And now you can see over here, it's giving us some distance data that we can play around with. Okay. One of the things you can do too inside tools here, we can change the name. So we can do edge left. We could do edge, call this right. <clears throat> And our edges, we can set relative to the object locator. This is the object locator. You can also make them relative to the fixed field in view. So let's see what the difference would be. <clears throat> you can see we're getting a fault. If that part was to be positioned exactly where in between the two edges, and it was misaligned, we'd get a fault output here. But let's say it was coming down a conveyor and we didn't care how it was positioned, we just needed to make sure that the object itself was of the right width. <clears throat> let's go into here and we'll do object locator. So now 
these two edges are relative to this center point position. Let's go back into our live image and let's play that and see what difference it is. Now you can see our edge tool is moving with our relative image. Okay, so now that we see that, um, let's try the circle tool. You can see we have a circle in the center here. And we want to look for that circle. Okay. So all you do is create a circle box and you can see it's green outlined that circle on there and it's recognized it. Same thing here. We could set this relative to our object locator. So let's play that. Okay. You can see it moving with the image. If we wanted that circle, although we didn't care how the part was oriented, but we did care about the position of this circle. Say it was a pin clamp that was going to come in there. Now let's play that. Okay, we're getting a fault reading on the circle because it's not in the correct position. But for the sake of what we're doing, object locator is just fine. <clears throat> Another tool that we have available is this angle tool. Um, and how that works is you, you take the edge tool again. Let's say we wanted to monitor the angle of this area here to make sure it was roughly 90 degrees. We'll take two edge tools. We'll select the angle tool. And we'll take the center points here. And see what the angle it gives us and you can t see here now we've got a 90 degree angle so let's run this okay go back into reference image you can see some of the other tools are blob <clears throat> which we can't really demonstrate here on this but blob is a pretty powerful tool we also have pattern polygon and pixel counters this will allow for uh, measurement so anyway um pretty cool tool pretty cool emulator easy to use easy to demonstrate in front of a customer give me a call if you have any questions